Hello, my lovelies. As I promise, I'm catching up today is Sunday uh, late morning. And oh, I had to put the lights on. So I hope, I really do hope that this video quality is going to be all right because these lights are slightly yellow and it's never good when they're yellow. It's just not good for film quality, but it is what I've got. So let's just get started. Today is going to be the last of the sweet scents of that I have um, from Wickham's. And the last of the sweet scents that I have is Shangri-La. So this is a full tub and you can see it is absolutely huge. It is 140 grams and it is a soft soap. So a crop. Yeah. Uh, and the scent strength is absolutely okay so i don't know how else to explain that it's just really is strong and i've made some up in my yellow salad bowl today and i'm using the chianti and you can see the knot on the picture so go to the picture if you want to see the knot it's a 24 mil i'll wet my face whilst i'm talking because i don't want to I love being with you, but I don't want to waste your time. I'm aware that obviously you've got things to do as well. And you maybe want to see a few others. So let's get on with it. There you go. Oh, I have warm water. It's absolutely chucking it down outside. And the razor I'm using today is the Irish Gunmetal. And as you can see, it has a curved side. It's very unusual. It looks fabulous. It is fabulous to put together. It's a three piece as well. And it has a long handle, has quite some weight to it. I love this little razor and I call it the armadillo. <laughs> okay, for the wrapping. <laughs> okay, so that's the armadillo. But otherwise it's an Irish, Irish gun metal. So let's get going with this. I need to, I think I need to change the angle a little bit. Here we go. Oh, everything's a bit skewed today and I don't know. It's one of those days. <laughs> My hair is going awry. Everything's a bit off. But we'll get through it. I can't even describe the scent properly to you other than it's a floral, not a fruity sweet. And I think it's lovely. Right, and the blade, I forgot to tell you, the blade I'm using is a sharp, is a high chromium Swiss blade. And it's on its first use because I can't see that I've made any dots on here so it must be its first use. I oh, know here's one dot sorry it's on its second use I didn't there you can see that tiny little dot there it's on its second use. <laughs> he sat at the window watching again. There must be someone walking past with the dog. This is a superb razor. Oh and today I cleaned out my razor drawer because I don't know I had stacked stuff in a different way. And I couldn't, remember, I couldn't find my Irish brass. I finally found it. Um, it had just somehow got right underneath everything else. So that will make an appearance at some stage again. Now that I know where it is. So 
so I keep them all in their boxes. And as some are second hand, they don't come with their original boxes. So I've got boxes that, some boxes that look alike. Oh, let's go across the grain. I just shaved some hair off. it is um, so it's hard to identify stuff and yes I keep them in, a, in their boxes or in boxes because as I have to stack one on top of each other in a drawer I don't have much space to you know have them laid out or hung out or however And it's good actually as well because that way they keep they keep their shine and everything they keep in good condition they don't get scratched they can't fall over and get knocks and dents I've made again so much lather this is a lovely little brush. It's a bit like it acts, doesn't look like, but it acts like the PAA brushes, the, what are they called? The grey ones, like that anyway. Don't know what the knot is now called. I've got a bit of a lapse in my memory. I don't know, I was thinking, would you guys want to, when I say guys, I mean you girls as well, see another non-shaving video with the brushes, all the brushes I have and some, or something like that. As I said, most of them are yuckies, but they're not. Most probably I'll, well I've got them all in here, all the brushes I have are here. And it's absolutely, the cupboard is so full, it's stacking double. And I actually like bar, maybe two or three, I love them all. So, not using my shave towel today. I did bring it up from the wash. Oh, look, I'm messed. Look, I'm messy. <laughs> and I've still got loads of lava left here. Let's just give you a quick look. Try not to try to keep this video short, but obviously I'm. I'm now faffing about a bit, but I think that's all right, isn't it? Just a little bit. I just want to show you that. I'm trying to. I'm just putting all the lather, the surplus lather, which has been in. There's at least two more, two more goes, goes, rounds, passes. We'll get there in the end. So let me just run a little bit of water through that lot so that you can see. I shake it out. Here, look. You see? Obviously, now let me just see. It does look very similar, doesn't it? Now that I'm pulling out 
okay not the knot size but look that's the same isn't it of course one's dry the other is wet but I think that's the same knot and it is definitely a lot cheaper than PAA right let's get the activator slash toner on I hope I put this on the picture I don't know what I because I made a few changes I made a few changes thinking oh I prefer this today and that today rather than what I had planned because what I do is I make a sort of a plan so that I don't forget to use the soap for ages so I try to rotate them sort of equally I'm adding today aloe propolis cream I haven't used that for a while and also the other reason is you know I go through the soaps I try to go through them in a in a you know from one company and then the next because I'm trying to figure out also which ones I actually would buy a big tub of which ones I like best and it's so hard especially if you have quite a few samples well this isn't a sample this one you couldn't get as a sample and it turned out to be okay as in turned out to be all right for me that it didn't come in the sample and you know I don't like to it's not even about money at this stage with the soaps getting big tubs it's about storage and imagine you've got a soap that you don't really like and then you've got a huge amount of it well what you're going to do with it yeah you can pass it on um but I don't know, I'd rather prefer to use something that I really like and pass some of it on than, you know, just pass something on that I don't personally like. So yesterday I didn't get around to using the Edwardian bouquet, so I'm doing that now. It sort of fits in because it's also quite floral. Okay, here we go. You need to pump this quite a bit before it comes out. Ah, oh, that smells so nice. It really is very nice. Pity that, I don't know, this is, I have the same problem with this because I got loads of sample of these, samples of these. And the choice is so hard. But I'm glad I got the samples because it, it, it at least you get the, to try to out, get to try out things and not, not have a big bottle and then not being able to try something else so that's also an advantage to the samples so I don't know I've waffled today a bit long I haven't <laughs> I haven't been my best today but I hope you still enjoyed it and I hope you still got something out of this so for today I'm saying Oh, I just wanted to add something on. Things that I've noticed, and it's maybe just a small thing. I know the camera's crooked now because I was playing around with it. Um, but when you put the blades back, okay, what I found, if you want to make, or make it as safe as possible to get it also out again, and sometimes, you know, the paper sticks to the blade and whatever, whatnot. So what I found, is, and this is just a tiny small thing and of course you most probably have thought about it yourself is you stick it into the paper and then you fold over the big flap first okay so basically you've got it like that and then you see these things happen of course I'm not doing it on it I'm doing it in holding it in the air so that now gives me a possibility of pushing the blade down so that it fits back into the paper without cutting myself and then putting the small flaps over the big flaps so that way you always ensure that you touch the sides first um, and another thing 
I know this this razor hasn't got an overhang but for those that overhang and I know it's another small thing but obviously what you can do is you can cut these sides off a bit so that they fit to your um, your head yeah I don't I don't bother with that because often it's very minimal but if you're bothered by it just take a scissor and cut it to size okay so that was just my tip-off at the end of the video see you soon